Hello and welcome everyone. It's great to see you in another video. This will be my first uh, tutorial video of 2021. So I'm so excited to keep going. So as you can understand from the title, we will be building a text recognizer using Python. If you're ready, let's begin. So as you can see on the left side, we have the article and on the right side, we have the Jupyter notebook. Step number one, which is the libraries. So in this project, we will need two main libraries, as you can see. One of them is called PyTesseract and the other one is called Pillow. I know it reminds you of sleeping pillow, but it's not. <laughs> okay, so let's install these two libraries. I already have them, that's why it might happen fast, but that's how you line how you program, how you install libraries. Sorry about that. There we go. And perfect, yeah. Since I already have them, it was so fast. And after running this line, you will see the installation process happening. After the libraries are installed, we will go ahead and import them into our Jupyter notebook. There we go. Let's move on. And step number two, text recognition. So in this step, we will use the library that we just installed to recognize the text inside this image. So our images inside the same folder with the Jupyter notebook. Here we go. We can also rename this notebook. We can make it text recognizer. There we go. So it's updated right away. Alrighty. What are we doing now is we will import the image into our project. So to do that, let's copy that block and paste it. And so we are opening the image using image.open. As you remember, our image was called JPEG, code.jpg. And then we are calling the image to string method, which as you can understand from the method name, it extracts the text into a string format. So let's run this. You can even put them into different blocks. So it's good to check before running. Oh, because of the, there we go, the format. So let's run that. Perfect. And then let's run this. And that was it. That was so fast as you can like see how it was, right? Perfect. Step number three, exporting the result. So what we just did was recognizing text from an image and it's time to export that image. I mean, not the image, but the string, which is the text into a text file. Before doing the exporting part, let's check our results, right? We want to make sure it's correct what we just got from the image. Uh, deeply and inarticulate. So what is happening over here? As you can see, 
it's not the best recognized text, right? Because we are seeing I have a deeply hidden and inarticulate desire for something beyond the daily life. But what our recognizer read was just a deeply and inarticulate. So why is that happening? So that's the tricky part. This might happen because of the image, like it's not so bright or it's kind of like shadowy on this side and this kind of things do affect the recognition. So that's why I've added an extra step over here. What is this step doing? So this can be known as image pre-processing. If you want your recognizer to recognize the image, the text from the image in a very, very accurate way, this is something good to try. So that's also another library that we will need. Let's add that. We already have the image imported. So let's go ahead and add these two blocks over here. So first I'm adding some sharpness to the image and I'm also adding some contrast. These are the levels I'm adding. So first let's define them and then let's add them. Perfect. So image edit is the new variable that I assign the image. That's why I will go ahead and save it as a new image file. So this is my variable and I'm saving it as edited image. There we go. If we go back to the folder, we will see our image. There it is. So let's see if our recognizer will do a better job with recognizing the text from this image. And then run it. So here we were running it on the image and here as you can see, we are running it on the new image. Perfect. Let's print out the result again. There we go. Did anything change? Doesn't look like it changed. We can add some brightness. That might help us with this. Let's try. So if we go and type pillow, Python brightness. That's how we can see how we can add some brightness to our image. Hmm. First, let's add this. And hey, sir, number three, this is what we are doing because we just did the sharpness contrast and this time we are adding some brightness. Perfect. Let's just add it. 1.5. Let's call it image edit. And hey, sir, number three. All right. Now let's go ahead and save it to see how it looks like. There we go. Here is our folder. Okay. As you can see, it's more readable, more contrast. And let's see if the recognizer will do a better job this time. Let's hope so. There we go. There we go. So it was a challenge what we were facing. But as you can see, we did a, a better job with recognizing the text. This is another reason why I chose this image in this tutorial. Because I wanted to show you how 
challenging it can be to recognize the text. So it's not a easy job that you just run the line and then you get a perfect result. That's not how it works. You get this kind of results that you might need to add some more work to your project. I want to show you another example that we will use a different image to show you like how it how easy it can be if we use a different image so here we go so this is uh, from another project that i published i want to use this image to show you how easy it can be when the text is like crystal clean and silence poem is my images name so let's go ahead and rename that silence poem and let's go ahead as you can see over here without doing any editings on the image our recognizer did a really really good job so this result shows you if the text is like computer written text and it's much easier for the recognizer to recognize that text so that's it for this week i hope to see you in the next week's video until then stay safe and happy programming see you all thank you Bye.